Hello there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm open to shoot M106. Uh, it's a galaxy located in Ursa Major which is quite well located um, at this time of year and actually tonight almost nearly didn't happen at all. Um, it's one of those um, where I'm really behind uh, I was basically waiting for the weather to clear. I didn't want to get my scope out in anticipation of it clearing because the clouds themselves look really, really thick uh, and I was worried about everything getting rained on basically. But the weather forecast was actually true uh, and it has cleared up and it looks like it's going to be okay for a few hours if it's to be believed. Um, so fingers crossed that it is. Uh, and in that time, I'd actually like to just put every single moment of that onto M106. Um, I'm actually going to be trying tonight a little, something a little bit different. So the last time I was imaging, I was using extremely short exposures in the order of like 30 seconds each for broadband targets. Uh, and I think tonight I'd like to try the total opposite to that. So I'm actually going to be taking like 10 minute exposures. If, um, if there's no wind picks up or anything like that, that's going to prevent me doing so. Uh, but currently it's flat calm. Um, and yeah, basically, I'm hoping to get at least something out of tonight and treat it as a little bit of an experimentation session. And if this target's looking promising, I'll probably reshoot it before galaxy season's over and uh, see where I can actually pull out of it. I just thought I'd show you a quick preview of the target on my screen. So while I've actually been getting setting up and recording an introduction, um, I did leave this stack in seven and a half second exposures. I don't know if that's visible for you there. Uh, at 600 gain. There's no darks or flats or anything. This is literally just for me to see, um, well, and you, to see just roughly how this target's going to start to look. And um, yeah, I can definitely see the core of the galaxy quite well. There's some decent detail going into it. Uh, and also there's some other galaxies I'd like to get in frame. I don't know if you can see there in the top corner. There's a, an edge on galaxy with a, a nice thick dust lane going through it, just there. So I'm going to open up APT now, get it actually framed properly using some custom coordinates and uh, hopefully get started and get a few hours on this target. So as we're using tonight as a little bit of a testing session, uh, I thought I'd show you guys one of the other things I was actually setting up and testing tonight, which is this, the AZ GTI and ASI Air Pro little um, portable setup that I've got. So on this I've got a Canon 700D Astro modded, a Samyang 135 f2 lens, uh, they're a fantastic astro lens, a little 30mm f4 uh, finder guider sort of scope and an ASI Air Pro that we just got the other day. Um, I actually did have an ASI Air normal beforehand but I was enjoying using it so much uh, that in anticipation kind of of summer and the wider selection of targets which will fit this lens. I decided to upgrade so I could perform some live stacking and things using this. Um, one of the other things we did pick up is actually this down here, it's a little Bowden's uh, portable power pack and that should enable uh, little journeys to be uh, a possibility for later in the year I should think, when we're allowed to go travel freely. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that should be interesting because then we could go to some darker skies and perhaps take some wider field astro. Well guys, uh, I've waited about 90 to 100 minutes now for these clouds to clear and uh, unfortunately it just looks like it's not really going to happen. Um, the Met Office is insisting right now that it should be clear indeed for a few more hours but uh, I'm not really sure where they're looking but it's definitely not upwards. Um, in the end I managed to capture 7, uh, I think 7, 10 minute exposures. Uh, I will go ahead and stack them and show you at the end. I'm not expecting anything stellar, but I suppose it's important to also share the lows as well as the highs. It's not always uh, desperately easy in this hobby, um, especially when everything goes well on your side. And 
it's just the sky that stops you. It can be very frustrating, but at least uh, tonight's testing session, I managed to get tested where I wanted to really. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your time as always. And uh, yeah, hopefully next week, there should be some clearer skies and slightly more settled weather, but it is going to be cold. Uh, I'm hoping to get some videos put together for you then and get them shared. Uh, really looking forward to that. So catch you next time and uh, clear skies.